Hey guys, it's your girl Bimi. So, <laughs> today I just want to give out a big secret, okay? And this is not a paid promo. Believe me, if it is, I will put paid promotion um, there so that you know that this is paid for. But this is not a paid promo. I just want to share something that happened a couple of months ago when my company was looking for um, someone to join the team, okay, as a project manager. And you know, because I work directly with my boss, and what I'm about to share now, I hesitated to share it, but it's one of the secrets, okay, on how I went from customer service to project management, even without PMP, okay. Those of you that have been following me for a long time, you know my journey how I was in Abu Dhabi, worked in a hospital, uh, you know, moved here, started doing customer service job, then I became a project manager, you know. I've been sharing everything that has to do with my journey so far if you just scroll to old videos so that I don't repeat you know all those old stories and something just um, I just remember to share this because when I posted the video on how I became a project manager most of the question um, that people reached out to me about is was how did you how did you make your CV how did you make your CV from working in a hospital to customer service, how did you tailor your CV to match or to even get attention or to be called for an interview? And, you know, I just said, well, after the training, I was able to put my CV together because first, I wasn't sure how it was going to sound. If I say the, I don't know how, I, I wasn't just comfortable to say at the time, okay, of what I did. But it's a valid question. But on Instagram DM, people ask me this. On that particular video as well, on how I became a project manager, people still ask me all of those questions. And I just remember when my boss was just folding CVs and throwing them in the trash, folding CVs, throwing them in the trash. And the few that, you know, he wanted to uh, reach out to for the interview, he just circled stuffs in blue and then circled it with blue pen, blue pen, blue pen and say, okay, I want you to scan the CVs and send to me. And when I, I just remember and something was familiar, those CVs stood out. And so many similarities as well with my CV. And it just dawned on me, I'm like, okay, you know what? I don't want to hide this, to my, uh, keep this to myself again. If you've been trying to get jobs, in this Canada maybe you are new you just landed or maybe you are not new but you are trying to transition to another field and you've been finding it difficult to translate your experience into that your new field it doesn't have to be project management I'm saying in any um, field at all okay and you've not been getting access to interviews then look this is what I did myself. When I finished my project, I, no, not when I finished, I was still doing the project management course and I started applying for a job, a job something that a friend of mine advised me to do and said, don't wait until you finish. Now that as you are learning, as it's fresh with you, be applying for a job. But then she also went ahead to say, get someone, if you don't know how to articulate your CVs properly, get someone to write it for you. And I'm like, okay do people help people to write cv i know a lot of people can like have sent me their cv before and saying me can you help me look at this and i'm just like hey, hey. <laughs> you know we are not good at everything she said yes people do that there are even websites that help people to write cv and it's not a lie and the reason why i'm telling you there's websites is so that you don't have to even follow who i'm talking about you can go on those websites and you know look for a genuine one and have them articulate your experience properly with the right word for you so shina said yes there's a guy that is writing that writes cvs and all of that intelligent smart and all of that i'm like ah, hope it's not something i'm going to uh, pay plenty money when i've not gotten a job i was like guys charging 15 dollar canadian dollar for that matter and that's ten thousand naira. you can pay him ten thousand naira. you can pay him transfer 15 dollar to him i'm like don't speak no more and then that's what i did and all he said was send me your old, well, once I paid the $15, it was like, send me your, the CV that you currently have. And I sent that to him. And they just rearranged my thoughts, okay? I'm not saying that they're going to lie and say what you cannot defend, though. I'm just saying that 
a CV that will get your feet at the door, okay? If you are submitting for jobs, the truth is that your CV is the thing that would make or mar that whole process for you because the person is not seeing you. The, some companies even have ATS that will filter your CV out if it does not have keywords for that job position, right? So I said, okay, my biggest challenge, let me not digress, is let me get my feet at the door. And if I have the CV that will make HR company reach out to me and say, we want to interview you, that's a big win for me. Because the next step is for me to go there and sell myself, speak, talk, blah, 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 tell you what I can do. But I can't tell you what I can do um, if my if my CV does not even give me that opportunity or allows the company to say, mm, okay, I'm impressed with this CV and okay, let's get to meet this person and see how they are, what they look like and all of that. And at the time, I didn't want to say I paid someone to write the CV for me because most of these things, someone will be like, are you now on Oludo now? But we are not good at everything. You can't be good at everything. The same way I'm speaking now in front of camera, most of the friends I have around me, if I'm filming, they just do things like this. They don't even want to show in any of my video. Camera shy, not their thing, but they are great in so many other ways, right? Same thing, you have people who are so good at writing CVs, you have people who are so good at A, B, C, and that's the beauty of this world. Everybody cannot be good at anything, right? And I just said, this actually did help me at the time, so I'm happy to share. It's not a pale thing, so, and for me, I just feel like, Frankly speaking, 10,000 naira to get a six-figure job, why not, right? Or 15 Canadian, it's even 14.99, let's just say minus nine, one cent, 15 Canadian dollar. And I just reached out to me and said, I'm going to do a video, you know, about this for you. Because, let me tell you, there's something called Canadian CV, okay, Canadian style. There's something called Nigerian CV style, there's something called UAE CV. I'm only mentioning these three countries because these are the places that I've lived, okay, and, you know, worked in. In UAE, for example, if you are applying for a job, your CV format is so different from Canadian format and different from Nigeria. UAE, you have to put your passport photograph. There, There's a style, there's a format of the CV. I think, I don't know, but since I've not been to every country in the world, let me not assume and say every country in the world does that, but... Yeah, in Canada as well. I've seen that there is a format as well. So I think that your CV might just be among those that my boss was just squeezing. If they look at it as it's not appealing, some people are good at using the right font, you know, the style, the keywords to capture what they are. Nobody has time to read three, four page of CV. So if you are also applying to for jobs, right, from your home country to come to Canada with work permit. Tendency that you're also applying the wrong way is very, very high, right? Because you'll be applying in the CV format that you know. You know, let's say you are from Kenya. You are going to know how to write CV, the Kenyan format. And you're looking to get a Canadian job. So you know that people come here with work permit, right? It's not a fallacy. People actually do come here with um people actually come here with work permit. And I believe that one of the things that would have, you know, stood out among those people would be one thing that stands out among <laughs> one thing that stands out would be their cv right and it's already difficult to get international job but imagine applying with the wrong cv you are just wasting your time so if you are trying to come to canada through jobs uh, you are applying to job banks ask yourself is your cv written in in the format that companies will reach out to you it does it have good is it is it captivating enough is it canadian style is it the style of it doesn't even have to be canada let's say you're going to applying to another country okay so that it doesn't look like i'm just saying use this guy no is it the standard of the country that you are looking you are going to is it how they write their cv okay so i just wanted to make that point too that okay you are going to job bank to look for jobs that have LMIA so that you can come to Canada through work permit, but your CV is not any good thing that and a company that have not seen you before will want to reach out to you and say, okay, let's give this guy a chance.
nobody has time you can have 10 years work experience as someone who put that all that 10 years in two page with the right word you know and in nigeria too we have our different way of writing cvs so i think that it is actually important and i just feel there's no shame in there people get people to for to do a lot of even big companies get people to write for them right so it's not like you are lying and you are saying you are putting things that you can't defend no i'm talking about things that you can defend but an opportunity to get you to that interview seat first you know let me tell you something that particular cv i got four interviews with them with that cv and i got one of those jobs and if you are someone who has been in the job market you would understand that to apply for one job to apply the right way you need you if you're applying for four jobs one CV can, might not even meet all the four job requirements. I don't know if you've sat down before and then you want to apply for a job and I say, ah, this CV that I used in the last one, let me add some things, let me remove some things. Because the important thing, when you have, don't just say, I'm a, I'm a, don't say I'm an engineer, I'm a lawyer, I'm a, I'm, I'm a doctor, I'm this and that, and you just dump same CV in every job application. If you see every job vacancy, the job description that they always put, they mention the criteria and the things that they are looking for. If your CV has those keywords, they will definitely reach back to you. But let's be honest. Yes, there is no four job posts from four different companies that will have the same keywords. Hence, the importance of having a good and a well-written CV. I remember when we landed here, I was looking for a remote job. The easiest ones to get is customer service, okay? And me, I had worked in the hospital before. And my goal was to also go and become a project manager. So I have to first, I had three CVs. One that has my hospital experience and I was looking for hospital related jobs, right? The second one was because I came with a four month old baby and I was looking for a customer service job that would allow me work from home. And then that's a customer uh, service CV, okay? I'd worked in MTN call center when I was in school. So I put that experience. That's why I'm saying that you don't have to lie. It's not like they are lying about what you didn't do. They're just helping you articulate it properly, right? And I'm looking to become a project manager. So eventually, when I, was started, when I started taking that Coursera course that I did a video about how I became a project manager, I still needed a CV that would put all those things that I learned in, into, uh, put it properly, into a nice CV that would capture my experience. Anyway, so I told this guy, you know what? Your services actually helped me. So I'm going to put your email on my channel. As a matter of fact, that I'm going to do a video and talk about this because I don't want you to keep getting we regret to inform you, we regret to inform you, and you think maybe your village people are following you. Nobody's following you. Your CV is not good, and it's not your fault. Everybody cannot be so good at everything. After a while, too, you begin to see the difference, okay? Even you will see clear difference between even me. I believe I'm not an Olodo, okay? Olodo is a Nigerian language. Those of you that are not Nigerian, it's a Yoruba language for to say. Yeah, you are not that dumb or you are not it's not like you are dumb <laughs> so but i knew that for me to get my feet after it's not the person that wrote the cv that stood for me to to talk at the interview i just wanted myself in to the company and then i'll sell myself and it's very important so if you know that you are good at it write it yourself okay no big deal a lot of people write CVs themselves and they get jobs, okay? You have nothing. If you know that you are not so sure, get somebody, pay 10,000 naira, and get it done. The email will be on your screen. I will also leave the email in the description box below. Reach out to you, let them write your CV very well. 10,000 naira or 15 Canadian dollars if you're in Canada, pay to Canada is this thing. And frankly speaking, in this country where minimum wage is not less than $15, to sit down and write a CV that will take more than an hour to write for $15, it's not something that... Mm, I hope this helps you. I have shared with you one of the things that I did. When I'm comfortable enough to talk about other things that has helped me 
you know, with this, I pretty consider my life here a Sussex, you know, I would keep bringing it out as I get more comfortable to talk about it, okay? I, I talked about someone's job for how many minutes without telling you about my own uh, channel. Please click on the like button on my channel. Subscribe to this channel. I believe me, scroll to other videos. I always talk about something useful and I appreciate your support as always. This year, we are getting to 50K with your help, of course. Thank you guys and see you in my next video.